Hi, welcome along to Loughborough's Class of 2020 online show. I'm Mike Wedderburn from Sky Sports. Much more importantly, I'm Mike Wedderburn, Loughborough students. Well, I'm here today in the West Park Teaching Hub with your Vice-Chancellor, Professor Robert Allison, known to one and all, though, as VC Bob. Hi, Mike, Bob. Hello. Um, it's been a really challenging time for everybody. How has the university coped? So, hugely well, I think, in two words. Speaking to our students, and particularly our graduates, Mike, I couldn't have been prouder, and you as a Loughborough grad couldn't have been prouder of their tenacity, their willingness to adapt and stepping up to the plate in the way they did. One of the things that this university has a reputation for is what you and I know as the Loughborough family and our students have been very much part of that and seeing out adversity in a tremendously positive way. And congratulations to all of them. Yeah, no surprise on my face. So let's kick off. Over the next 45 minutes, we've got a real treat for you. We'll hear from staff, students, fellow graduates from the university to celebrate you and your achievements. Now stick with us, familiar faces on the way. You can hear about opportunities to stay connected with the university and see also how you've been celebrating at home. Now, you can join the conversation on social media. Very easy, hashtag Loughboroughgrad2020. Get involved throughout the show. So as Bob has just said, it's been a pretty challenging time in all sorts of ways for everybody. Now we've been in touch with some of the Loughborough family and they've put together a video from them to you. Looking back on our time here, we'll remember the experience of being part of it. This experience can be split into countless moments, often shared and sometimes small, always different. It has been worth every minute. Collectively, these moments have changed us. We arrived nervous, but eager and immediately together in this. Although we probably didn't realise it at first. Since then, we've had sleepless nights, late nights, even later nights, early mornings, long afternoons, long summer days. We made friends, made best friends, and friends for life. With who we've learned, loved, comforted, challenged, and played. Even through the unplanned, the unexpected, the unprecedented, we adapted together. Out of sight, but never out of mind. Apart, but forever connected. We have laughed hard, worked hard, tried our hardest and lived even harder. Fiercely proud to be part of this family with its unbreakable spirit and determination to succeed. We will move on from here with bigger minds and even bigger hearts, with incredible stories and bright futures. It has been worth every minute. Our moments, moments in this, in this place, place Loughborough University, have been unforgettable. So, some voices from the Loughborough family. Chance for you now to hear from the head of the family, your Vice-Chancellor, who's got a few words for you, the class of 2020, and your families. Bob. Mike, that's very kind. Thank you very much. Uh, well, the first thing, of course, I must say to you all is many congratulations. Uh, we normally, at this time of year, would be holding degree ceremonies, but Mike, one of our Loughborough icons, has come to join us to celebrate your successes. And they've been real successes this year because of the challenges that you faced in completing your degrees. So well done. And I'd like just to ask you to take a moment because you've probably got family and friends around you. And if you have, particularly mums, dads, and members of your support team, just turn to them and thank them for all the love and support they've given to you. I suspect without them as your life support system at times, particularly over the last couple of months, 
you'd have found life particularly hard. And also from me, mums and dads and everyone else who's there with you celebrating, can I thank you for all the support you've given to your Loughborough grad and through that to the university. Now, let me offer one further thought before I turn back to Mike. And that is that we have many alumni all around the world. And Mike and I are aware that many of you will be tuning in to this VT and broadcast from your homes in the UK, but you will be joining us from many other countries as well. But the one thing that binds us all together and binds you together is you're now Loughborough graduates and you are still members of the wider Loughborough extended family. So be proud of that, be proud of your achievements, but wherever you go from now on in life and whether, wherever you end up, remember that this is where that journey started when you completed your degree and today is the celebration both of what you've achieved so far and the next stage and whatever you want to go on and do next. And I know, Mike, I can say to all of the people who are joining us today, both you and I are incredibly proud of what they've achieved in such challenging circumstances. Absolutely, really proud, well done. And you'll be, as time goes on, you'll be even more proud of the fact you are a Loughborough student. And um, I was here back in 88, 89, Bob, days of black and white telly. I did a master's in sports science. Did you enjoy I, it? I love this place. It go. is, every time I come back, I think I could maybe just do another course. I love it that much. Um, and I think, I think the phrase work hard, play hard is designed for this, for this, for the university. Um, what for you, how would you encapsulate Loughborough University? So I think for me, it's um, always wanting to do better, students doing extraordinary things, and also there's an ethos about the place. And dare I say it, Mike, partly because of what you studied when you were here. Um, while you don't have to be sporty to come to Loughborough, I always say that on open days, and some of the grads today may recall that in the Welcome to Loughborough talk that I give on open days, there is something about sport which is in our DNA, and I think it sets a competitiveness and, and a desire to win. And, and finally, I, I just think everyone's really proud. I'm hugely proud of our students and what they achieve. And it's our students, substantially, in our grads today that make us what we are, you know? I still have my African violet tea, um, tracksuit. Can't get into it, sadly, anymore. You're my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have another guest now. I'm joined by the outgoing president of the Students' Union, Salome Doche. Nice to see you. And I gather you're going to interview me, which is unusual for me. Yes. Uh, thank you for taking the time to answer some questions. On behalf of the student body, we've received a few questions from finalists for you. So Luke Bates asks, who has been the biggest influence in your professional career and what have you learned from them? Ooh, good question. Luke is that. Good question, Luke. Um, Biggest influence, all sorts of people have, have helped me along the way and you find in the business I'm in that people do put the ladder down to help the next person up, so they do help you. Um, I guess a chap called Andy Jacobs gave me my first break in TV. He's, um, he was a producer at the time, he's now a broadcaster on Talk Sport. Those of you who like your sport have probably heard the Hawksby and Jacobs show. Well, Andy Jacobs, it's his fault that I'm in telly. Um, he, get, he gambled on me and gave me a break. Um, chap from Sky Sports phoned me one day 22 years ago and said Mike we're starting this new channel called Sky Sports News we think you might be a good fit would you come and have a chat and 22 years later I'm still there I think um, but the most influential people have got to be my parents because um, they went without so much to give me a chance they didn't have anything but they found money to send me to a fantastic school the sort of school that said anything is possible so of all the people who've influenced me, I'd say my parents are the most influential. Wow, thanks Mike. So we have another question uh, from Alicia Edwards. We'll ask, do you have any specific advice for moving into sport or media? Yeah, go for it. Um, really want it. Um, if it's the media, if you want to, say you want to do my job and be a presenter, there are millions of people who want to do this job. It's a very want-to-be job. So you have to be serious. Saying, you know, wanting to be famous isn't good enough. You have to go to a company with skills. So for instance, if you want to be uh, a television presenter these days, you are going to need a journalism qualification. You are going to need to batter down the door and say, look what I can do for you. Um, so I think that's the key. It's, 
let's say sport, because that's what I know, um, go to the company having um, commentated on your local team, having blogged about them, vlogged about them, written all sorts of magazine stories, so, th so that the company can see this person is serious. They are bringing something to us. They don't just want us to give them something. So that's what I'd say. Thank you, that was very useful because I studied media and communication. So there you go. I can take the advice. See you in a bit. <laughs> um, and finally, we have one last question from Keevan Dakin who asks, what would you advise our class of 2020 as they venture into the world of work over the next few months? My advice. I think we can't, we can't beat around the bush. It's going to be tough for you guys. Uh, it was tough anyway. And with the pandemic, it's going to be even tougher. So I think what I'd say to you is, go for it again, but stand out. You've got to be different from the other thousands of people going for what you want. And don't give up, There's, you know, it is going to be tough. Um, you have a lifetime to work, so don't panic, but stand out. Find a way, whatever field you're in, to be different from everybody else. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. So thank you so much for taking the time to answer those student questions and to all the class of 2020, many congratulations from myself and the Student Union team. Okay, it's time to hear from another Loughborough old boy now. This guy is a legend. The 2018, the great British Bake Off winner, Dr. Rahul Mandal, has offered to judge the class of 2020 baking competition. Now, Rahul was here, studied for a PhD in mechanical and manufacturing engineering at Loughborough, and he got his doctorate in 2015. Perfect grounding for baking that, by the way. Well, the class of 2020 sent in pictures and videos of their cakes and cookies. So Rahul has run his eye over the soggy bottoms and nice bakes, and he's picked a star baker. Rahul, all yours. Hello, everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, first of all, many congratulations for graduating in 2020. I know it's been a difficult year, but I know we all will get through it together. So today, me uh, and George, the Loughborough graduate icon, is here and we are here to judge all your bakes. Now, a brief introduction about myself. My name is Rahul. I was a Loughborough alumni. Well, I graduated from Loughborough in 2015 and I took part in Great British Bake Off 2018. So let's look into all of your bakes. Looks like we have quite a lot of entries. Uh, so the first entry is from Jess. So Jess, well done. I loved your cake. You know, it's beautifully covered with white fondant and uh, you know, there's beautiful purple um, dots all over it. And it's very, very Loughborough, you know, like look at me, I'm also wearing purple. You know, purple is the color of Loughborough, so well done. So the next cake is uh, basically a, uh, a kind of like a arrangement of cupcakes and it looks quite nice. And you know, first of all, congratulations for getting first class degree and uh, the taste sound great Guinness and chocolate cupcake with the chainmail icing. And you know, I can look at your chainmail icing and I can, you know, I can guarantee that your chainmail sculptures are great as well. You know, no wonder, I mean, you get your first degree so many congratulations on that uh, the next cake is from uh, claire claire cooper on twitter it is a beautiful looking carrot cake. i mean look the inside of it it looks yummy and moist i'm guessing it's a carrot and walnut cake with a cream cheese fostering because of the walnut decoration around you know that is amazing in you know, a cup of tea with the carrot cake you know the evening sorted uh, so well done Claire. I have to look into your second cake as well because it seems like your second cake is going to be really good as well. So the next cake is from Sam, Sam Jones and well it's from Sam Jones and Sam Brown and both of them have completed first year of their uh, degree. And your cake looks very very good you know that's a iconic Hazelrig building behind in shortbread and a chocolate cake with the cream cheese frosting in the front with the Loughborough grounds and the fountain. That is an epic design, so well done. I mean, both Sam and Sam. Uh, so the next cake is from Jess Miller. Uh, he's basically uh, congratulating his brother and fellow graduate, uh, Thomas Miller. So, you know, congratulations, Tom. 
Uh, Tom, the cake looks amazing this. Well done. You are a great sister. I mean, I have to say, I mean, you know, like, this is amazing. Uh, next uh, entry is from uh, Professor Claudia. Uh, those buns look amazing. I mean, I have to find out a good recipe for that. Uh, so, you know, well done on your buns. Um, the next cake is, oh wow, that cake looks amazing. This is from Megan. And uh, Megan graduated from Loughborough with the first class honours and in the history. So well done Megan, all in your first class degree and also for the amazing cake. That cake looks amazing. The neat piping, very precise and you know, uh, it's, a, it's a really, really good decoration. So well done Megan. Uh, the next is from Belle. And Bill made a vegan peanut butter uh, chocolate brownies. That looks divine. You know, vegan baking is quite different and it could, can be quite tricky. You have done really well on this brownie. So well done, Bill. And the uh, final is from Claire again. Uh, the second entry. Oh, wow, Claire, that book looks very, very realistic. You know, it's really tricky to do uh, books. Uh, because, you know, the sharp edges, the neat edges. You have done a very, very good job. So... You know, congratulations, Claire, again, for your beautiful second cake. Now, if I have to choose a winner, I think I will go for Megan, because Megan's design is uh, literally very, very neat, flawless, uh, neat piping, and the cake looks uh, delicious and, you know, very, very nice. So, well done, Megan, for your first degree in history and also for this stunning cake. Hope you have, have a brilliant future. Congratulations again. Wow, amazing. Brilliant, Rahul. Thank you very much. So, Megan, our star baker. You a baker, Bob? Uh, not as good as that. But can I also say, Mark, I think we ought to do a rerun of this when we can be the judges with Rahul. And, and the other thing that reminds me of is we're the only university in the country to have a grad who both won the Bake Off and also Ori Aduba, of course, won Strictly Come Dancing as well. And he's another grad and member of the Loughborough family as well. So there's another first for us. That's Loughborough for you. Magnificent. Um, coming up in just a few moments, uh, an online performance from the University Choir, which is quite something. Uh, messages for you, class of 2020, from some pretty familiar faces. First, though, messages from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Anna, your Education Executive Officer, and I'm here to let you more about the University's Career Network, a service that you can still access after you've graduated. A lot of you may be worried about what's going to happen next once you've graduated, and you can really make use of the University's services to ensure that you have all the support you need when taking next steps. As a graduate, you can access the Careers Online Service, which lists thousands of jobs and opportunities every year uh, from employers that are specifically looking and interested in Loughborough University graduates. This can help you find the next role that may be ideal for you. By the way, the university can also aid you in the application process, whether it's through looking at your CV and ensuring that it's polished, uh, helping you with interview questions, and even with assessment centers. So do not miss out on all these fantastic opportunities. If you're looking to work for yourself and potentially start your own business, the university can also help support you with this. The Lafra Enterprise Network can offer business and enterprise support just for you. You can even access the studio, the university's program that provides entrepreneurial Lafra graduates access to the resources, facilities, enterprise and knowledge to establish and grow sustainable businesses. This can be accessed up to five years after you've graduated. For more information, just visit the Loughborough University Careers Network website. Many congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so, so proud of you, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Please remember to stay in touch with your Loughborough family. It's a tricky time for us all, considering further study, careers, and future plans. I'll be graduating from the design school with a degree in user-centered design, but for now, I'm not going anywhere. In September, I'll be starting a PhD in the Environmental Ergonomics Research Centre. I've loved my time at Loughborough and I cannot wait to make more memories with the Loughborough family. What's more, alumni are eligible for discounts on postgraduate study. Loughborough graduates receive an automatic alumni bursary of up to 10% and all full-time self-funding master's students who obtain a first-class bachelor's degree or international equivalent are entitled to a 20% tuition fee scholarship. Congratulations to the class of 2020 for thriving with that lockdown and making it through an unforgettable final year. 
Bob, I'm so impressed that there's so much help available for students on their way to becoming graduates. How proud are you that the university does this? So I think it's a really important aspect of the Loughborough ethos here, Mike. You know, what we don't do is say you've got your degree and you're now cast out into the cold. Uh, Anna Maria talks about the careers advisory service that we have here. And right here, right now, it's really important that students can access that. Alex, I know, I know him well. He was one of the student reps on Senate this last year and was pretty good at both understanding the issues and asking me pretty incisive questions. But he's coming back to do a master's. You know, you did a master's with us, didn't you? And we've got lots of students doing that as well. Um, and they're doing that partly because it will give them an additional qualification. Uh, you know, just think about what you were saying to Salome about uh, getting into the career that you're now in. But whatever it is, we're here, come back, remember you're a Loughborough alum, member of the Loughborough family. One of the things that Lord Coe, Seb says as our Chancellor at graduation, is Loughborough is for life. And remember, always come back, always keep in touch. And if there are things that we can do, of course, we'll do that. Loughborough definitely is for life. Um, thanks, Bob. Now, coming up, a few familiar Loughborough faces have spent, sent special messages to you, the class of 2020. That's coming up. Don't forget, get involved. Hashtag Loughborough Grad 2020 so we can celebrate you as you celebrate you. But now, though, our staff, students and alumni salute you and wish you the best. You leave the university at an incredibly challenging time, not just for the university, but also wider society. But having been a member of the Loughborough family for nearly five years now, if there is anything that I have learnt, it is that the strength of our community will go with you no matter where you take yourself. It would normally be my privilege to be saying this in person, having read your name out as you process across the stage to meet Lord Sebastian Coe. We can't do that this year, but I still want to congratulate you on your amazing achievement. You are now a Loughborough graduate. One thing I want to say is congratulations to all our graduate. I know it's been a very, very difficult year and you don't really know what's happening next. But one thing you need to remember is how strong and resilient you are and you'll all be absolutely fine. So good luck. I hope we all keep in touch and remember that Loughborough will be your family forever. On behalf of everybody in the school, I'd like to warmly congratulate you on your fantastic achievement of being awarded a Loughborough degree. Dear Mouth Graduate 2020, goodbye and good luck guys. Uh, I wish you very best for your future. You're about to embark on to another, another uh, big part of your journey. I wish you all the best in the world and I know you're gonna absolutely smash it. Stay true to your colours and always, always proudly wear the fact that you're a Loughborough graduate on your sleeve and on your heart. I'd like to congratulate you all on successfully completing your studies. Of course, we're not able to have a full celebration in the normal way because of current circumstances, but I hope that you're still able to celebrate your achievements with those who are close to you. Many congratulations for completing your degree in chemistry or medicinal and pharmaceutical chemistry at Loughborough this year, and we hope that you go on to great successes in the future. This is an extra special congratulations message from all of us at the Doctoral College. Wherever you are in the United Kingdom, or indeed the world, a very, very hearty well done on completing your doctorate. You've reached the pinnacle of higher education, and you can count yourself among just the 1.4% of the UK population that have a PhD. You're very special. I want to congratulate all students, all finalists from our school who graduate this year. It was not a normal year, but you've shown to be capable, even under difficult circumstances, to come up with really high quality results. Wilson, class of 2020, please allow me to congratulate you on behalf of the school and myself on your success in achieving your Loughborough degree. I just want to say a huge congratulations to all of those students at Loughborough University for completing your degree. I'd recommend sending your CV out to as many people as possible, go for all of those coffees plan them and just build those contacts and most importantly don't give up because you will get there. A huge congratulations uh, to you all graduating this summer. I actually have my certificate, don't lose it, 
keep it framed and hang it in your wall. Very congratulations. I uh, hope you're going to do amazing in, in the future. The best advice that I could give going into the working world is to keep an open mind and an open heart. Be incredibly proud of the fact that you're a graduate of Loughborough University. I want to wish you all the luck in the world for whatever your future holds and um, congratulations on achieving your degrees. Congratulations on everything you've achieved. You'll never forget this degree ceremony. I hope you justifiably are proud of the fact that you became a Loughborough student and now a Loughborough graduate and that you'll always be a part of the history, the heritage. Follow your passion, stay close to Loughborough and wear the badge with honour. Congratulations. I know that you can't have your graduation day and I would just like to wish you all the very, very best Loughborough's a great place. Um, I was really sad to leave. Very best wishes to all of you. And uh, the only thing I would say to you is just remember, you never, ever, ever leave Loughborough. I want to send all my congratulations to the class of 2020 graduating this year. It's been a challenging year to graduate in for sure, but I'm sure that you can look back on your time with pride, with a lot of happy memories, and know that you're now going out extremely well prepared into the wider world, ready to make your mark on it. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you for choosing Loughborough and massive congratulations on graduating and getting one of these from such a prestigious university. Yeah, well done. Key phrase in all of that, you never leave Loughborough. Ain't that the truth? Now, as we know, really tricky few months for everybody, particularly you, the class of 2020, having to complete your degrees during lockdown. Now, you have shown resilience, strength, tenacity in the last few months. Employers will be lucky to have you. They really will. So as we recall this difficult year, we'll hear a rendition of that traditional folk song, The Parting Glass, from the Loughborough University Choir, who came together online to share this special performance.
Fabulous. VC Bob. Doesn't that just encapsulate Loughborough University? Isn't that what it's about? I said my, you know, adaptability and tenacity. And I think that shows it through and through, doesn't it? It certainly does. Class of 2020 have had to be adaptable and versatile. And many of you have celebrated virtually the fact that you've now got your degrees. We can have a look at how you've done that right now. Let's have a look at some of these home degree celebrations. And Bob, I guess you, all these faces, or a lot of these faces, you know pretty well. Yeah, I recognise a lot of these students. I mean, there are a million moments that make up proud memories for me in any year. And a lot of these students have not only got a Loughborough degree, but they've contributed to the university in ways that they can all be proud as well. Yeah, pick out a few names here. There's Will Bernard, first in chemistry. Wow, that's, that's pretty, way beyond Pretty me. good going. I was going to say that. That's more than I ever achieved in chemistry, <laughs> yeah. Mike, I'll tell you that. Yeah, fantastic. Well done to one and all. The other thing that I really like about some of these shots is students are with celebrating with family and friends. And it demonstrates that, you know, the Loughborough families, of course, are alumni like you and the class of 2020. But it's other people who've had an association through them as well. Yeah, we'll pick out a few names. Jess Miller there, Sarah, yeah, Sarah Manning, Manning over Manning. there. Textiles, absolutely fabulous. Again, faces that I recognise here. And partly because of what they've done in their degree, but often I recognise these faces because, you know, people like Laura and their contributions that they've made to either sport or the arts or other things that go on um, in the Students' Union or on the campus, Mike. And it just goes to show the real range that's on offer here and, and um, the achievement by so many people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, look at this. And this, you know, this is the iconic shot. I don't know what it was like for you on graduation day, but there are two locations on the campus where students take pics. One is by the fountain and the other is by that sign at the front of the campus. And here we are, look, uh, a picture tweeted by Hazelring the Fountain by Michael, because this is one of the iconic Loughborough campus locations. Exactly. I have that same picture with my dad's chest bursting out of his shirt. There He's you go. that proud. It's the fantastic. interesting thing, by the way, during lockdown, is the campus has been so quiet, a family of ducks took up residence on the fountain <laughs> pond. <laughs> I thought we saw those, yes. Yeah, look, here we are, there you go, Kim by the sign, you see. Yeah, wonderful. This is Loughborough through and through, isn't it? And she picks out her mum there. Her mum would have been so proud, so that's special. Very, very good. These cards uh, students received when they got their uh, A-level results to confirm they were coming to Loughborough. So that started their Loughborough journey. And these cards that they've received have now completed their upper journey. So there's something here about the beginning and the end, which is so resonant in that tweet That's there. That's a golden ticket, is it? That's absolutely right. That was the golden ticket that Scott Mills talked about on Radio 1 and we became a trending, <laughs> I think that's the correct phrase. That is the phrase. Yeah, yeah, we became <laughs> trending because of that. And I'm so pleased that Joss has popped that up on her social media profile. That is fantastic, yeah. As is this. Yeah, how you do that, I have no idea and get it tweeted at the same time, but well done, isn't that fabulous? Well done. 2 1 here. Excellent, yeah, Death. and a 2 1 here as well. What's yours? I've got Catherine's got a 2 1 here in Mechenge. What have we got here? No, it just says, well, whatever it is, many congratulations yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, look at this, I love it. Here we go, celebrating at home. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, the drinks. A proud dad, yes, definitely. There have been one or two occasions, you know, when students who've still been in Loughborough have congregated um, over the last couple of days uh, around the fountain with, with a bottle of fizz. And I've gone out and I've said, hey, hey, I hope you're living together. You're too close <laughs> together. And they've said, no, Bob, it's OK, don't worry. <laughs> oh, well, look at that. Well, I'll tell you what, they're rubbish, someone I've not seen before. <laughs> yeah, wonder. brilliant. wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. A 2-1 and first class experience, I like that. Yeah, Millie, what's Millie saying? Sleepless, sleepless nights. nights paid off. Yeah, absolutely, sleepless nights. Of course, that's working in the library, not because you've been to Echoes or Friday Night Disco. <laughs> of course, yes. And she's got a first class for it, so it definitely, Excellent. definitely worked. Who else have we got here? Jordan Connor. Yeah. And I recognise Jordan as well. One of the things that is a real privilege about being, being VC at Loughborough is you can go watch sport and claim it's all part of the day job. I've got a job like that. It's fantastic. Very, very good, yeah. Yeah, Excellent. congratulations. Well done to all of them. Yeah. Isn't, aren't those some fantastic shots there? Absolutely brilliant. Well done, one and all. Now, we have one very special final guest for you. Somebody that many of you 
and your parents, no doubt, will know pretty well. It is, of course, Loughborough University Chancellor, Lord Sebastian Coe, KBE. Now, there's a man who has achieved. Seb, nice to see you, looking so well. Um, you have Thank achieved. You, to be here. you have achieved in your life. You've done all manner of things. One of them, of course, is being a Loughborough student. How important is that to you? Oh, everything I went on to achieve in so many spheres, whether it's my competitive career, whether it was, um, you know, the, the bid for the games and then being privileged to lead the team that delivered the games. And, the, and all, all these things were done with the experiences that I absorbed while I was at Loughborough, whether it was the world class coaching that helped me uh, establish myself on the track or then the support that I received afterwards. And actually, if you look at the London Games, the London Games were ostensibly delivered by people from Loughborough at pretty much every level. Sue Campbell, uh, Liz Nicholl, myself, uh, you know, wherever you look, it was, it was a Loughborough contribution. Uh, and that's the way it should be. We are the primary university for sport, sports science and management in the country. Why wouldn't it be Loughborough when the hour came. Absolutely. Seb, can I ask you and Mike a question as Loughborough grads? Uh, we're celebrating the class of 2020 today and they'll all have memories and moments from their time here. Uh, for both of you, what are your special memories or your special moments about being on the Loughborough campus? Well, well, for me, it was just simply the friendship, the camaraderie and the closeness of a university family. Um, and, and of course, you know, I'm now carbon dating myself. It's it's a good 40 something years uh, since I was at Loughborough. It was a much smaller, more modest university, far fewer, uh, far fewer uh, ranges of academic subjects. It was ostensibly engineering, a little bit of economics for those engineers that needed production engineering. And, you know, it, 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 it has grown dramatically since then but the ethos has remained you know it, it 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 is a global university but it but when it comes to campus and when it comes to students it thinks locally and that's why i think we are so special and mike how about for you yeah i've got a couple of memories i was here for the one year doing doing a master's degree and um, i played rugby and cricket for the for the university and we won both of those the uau uau as it was then and cricket when we came back having beaten Durham, Nasser Hussain and co in the final, I can remember two of the lads being on top of the minibus as we drove into Loughborough, hanging on for dear life, which I remember really well. And when we won the rugby at Twickenham, uh, we stayed and partied at Covent Garden. And then, then when we, we were told we had to meet at midnight at a particular corner of Trafalgar Square, and um, half the lads were at the wrong corner, and one of my teammates got on the bus, said to the driver, right, drives, we're set. And we left half the team in Loughborough and they had to come back in a taxi cab. And they're my really vivid memories of playing sport here at Loughborough. Well, well, well. Really, well, well. really vivid. So, Seb, finally then, um, what message do you have for the class of 2020 as they go out into the wild world? Well, the first one is a very obvious one. Congratulations. You know, you, you have... You've worked incredibly hard. You've been incredibly focused. Uh, the only sadness today while I am celebrating this is that it, it's, the, it's one of the highlights of my year being on duty at graduation ceremonies. I absolutely love it. The comments, the remarks, uh, some of the crazier things that get said to you. We have a, we have a Premier League of, of, of crazy things. Uh, but it's a great, great day. Uh, and I'm looking forward to being amongst all of you to celebrate this day really uh, in real time uh, at Easter next year. Uh, but my overall message is congratulations. You are or you have been through a university that I think will go on. It's the gift that will keep giving. Uh, remain in touch. We know where you are. We know who you are. I don't want this to sound like a slightly creepy episode of Sopranos, but we will find you <laughs> and we do want you to be a part and remain a part of the family. We, we've treasured your time with us. We don't want to lose touch with you. Go out and make a little bit more history because that's what this university has consistently done. Fabulous. Bob, how important is it to have Seb as the university chancellor? So Seb adds tremendously to all sorts of things. I mean, number one at graduation, 
uh, as the students will see when they graduate, as Seb says, next April, um, as you get towards, the Chancellor is the most senior member of the university, he's always at the back of the queue and I'm just in front of him. And as Seb walks into the room, you see everybody turning around, getting their cameras out. You know, he's the epitome of Loughborough. He's someone who did his degree here. He's um, a fantastic ambassador for the place. He's done great things in his own career. But in doing that, he has contributed to the country as well. It, you know, the, the, the notion of the, the Loughborough grad um, living and breathing the university after they've left the place and contributing back to society. And I can tell you now, we couldn't be prouder. When I say to students, will you be at graduation? Virtually everyone responds by saying to me, will the chance to be there? Will we have the opportunity to see Seb? And he does good things on our behalf all over the world. And we're all very grateful to him for that, Mike. We are indeed. And Seb, you make us proud. Thank you very much for joining us on what is a very special occasion. No, and also this is a day to reflect on the world class performance of our teaching teams as well because I know the students would be the first to want to uh, doff their caps in that direction. Lord Coe, thank you very much indeed. Enjoy the, the day, day, guys. Lord Sebastian Coe, a Loughborough legend. So those are Seb's words. Bob, how would you sum up and, and finish by saying a few words to the class of 2020? So one of the things I always do at this point in the year, Mike, is I reflect and I, I always hundreds of moments come to mind uh, which make me really proud to be the vice chancellor and so many of them are created by our students and today of course our grads whether it's watching us win at sport whether it's lsu dance whether it's lsu sing whether it's rag whether it's action whether it's lsu media all of the sorts of things that our students do which contribute to making this a special place you don't become one of this country's top 10 universities without everybody wanting that to happen. And the students are fundamental to that success. So I think I want to conclude my contribution to today uh, by saying three things to them. Number one is of course, once again, many congratulations on, on what you've achieved. Number two is to say thank you for everything that you've contributed. And number three is to say, don't forget week beginning Monday the 12th of April next year will be graduation week. Come back, we will welcome you with open arms and hopefully at that point in time we will be able to do proud for you, your families and friends. And Mike, can I also just conclude on behalf of all of the class of 2020, my colleagues and, and, and students here by saying thanks to you uh, for coming along today and um, contributing to such a special moment. This is the pinnacle of, of Loughborough. And it's a hugely proud moment for me. I hope for you as well, but I know it will be for all of our grads that are watching, their families and friends. So thanks to all of them. Thanks to you and many congratulations to them too. Indeed. Uh, you're very welcome. I will always do this. I love this place. As people have said, you never leave Loughborough. Now, the thing about being a television presenter is you're a bit of a liar because you try and convince people you do this on your own. Actually, there's a whole crew of people who make people like me look good. So I want you to see all these people who've worked so hard to do this for you on this special day. So here's the crew, who often are shy, but they need to come in so we can see them all. Come on, don't be shy, everyone on this show. Just to show you all the people involved to make this happen for you. There they are, look. What a team. Thank you all. Very well played. Very well played indeed. So, just remains for me to say, congratulations to you. You've done it, class of 2020. All of us, Bob, the crew, the staff, the alumni, wish you the very best. Go out there, take the world by the scruff of its neck. Sing love.